Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and another video. As you may know by now, this channel is dedicated to help primary care physicians, particularly RVU-based primary care physicians, maximize productivity and scale their income without sacrificing their well-being or risk falling into burnout. One of the strategies to accomplish this, and I've talked about it a few times already in some of my videos, is mastering billing and coding. Now we dive deep into this practical strategy in our RVU consulting program. I'm not a billing and coding specialist. My expertise strictly comes from me being a physician and this is part of what I do day in and day out. So over the years, I've learned quite a bit along the way and I share all of this in the program. Billing and coding is one of the key critical skills you need to master in order to scale your income and break through your income ceiling. And as such, it is the largest section in the program. So if billing and coding is one of the areas that you struggle with or you just wanna learn all of the key critical strategies for you to be able to break through your income ceiling and maximize revenue, then I definitely invite you to apply to our RVU consulting program and let us help you get to your physician competition goals. The link is in the description below if you're interested. Now for this video today I want to share some of the common mistakes that lead to underbilling and therefore poor physician compensation. The first common mistake is not taking the time to even understand the basics of billing and coding guidelines. It's honestly the basics that will get you the majority of the way there and this is how you'll be able to maximize your income. Of course you'll be able to build up from the basics but having the basics down packed first is half the battle. From my own experience in the past struggling with billing and coding and also seeing some of the mistakes that some of my colleagues make, not fully understanding the basics is where half the struggle is. Once you get the basics down, everything else is smooth from then on. The second most common mistake is poor coding and documentation. So not being specific with the diagnosis you're working with and not being concise with your documentation will lead to underbilling. Your documentation doesn't need to be a long essay or a dissertation, but it does need to be pertinent, accurate and concise. Size. Think of documentation like painting a picture. So if a few things are missing, that picture won't be complete. What you want from your documentation is for it to be complete and concise so that even a non-physician, i.e. your billing specialist, would be able to follow along and see the case that you saw when you were taking care of the patient. Your documentation should then match the billing code that you've selected for that visit. And there shouldn't be any questions about it if you've done everything right. The next most common mistake is billing level threes for every evaluation and management encounter because you think it's a safe zone. Even as a third year resident, I knew this was something to stay away from. Now, of course, for the level three type ENM visit, billing a level three would be appropriate. But not every case that a primary care physician sees is a level three. We see complex patients as well. So you want to ensure that you're bidding appropriately for the type of cases that you're seeing and not losing any money by underbilling. It kind of goes back to the knowing the basics point. Once you get the basics down, this type of billing mistake probably wouldn't happen. The next common mistake that leads to underbilling is not working closely with your billing specialist. I talked about this in my previous video, so if you have not watched it, definitely make sure to head over there after this video. When you're working towards mastering billing and coding, you're gonna make some mistakes, especially in the beginning up until you get better. So it is best practice to work closely with your billing specialist so that way you learn as much as possible from any mistakes that you might make. And over time, you make less mistakes or no mistakes at all. And less mistakes means less money being lost and more revenue that you're able to make. Like I said, we dive deep into the topic of billing and coding in our RVU consultant consulting program. So if you feel like this is an area where you struggle with or need a bit more understanding in order to scale your income or break through your income ceiling, then I definitely invite you to apply to our RVU consulting program. The link is in the description box if you're interested. Also, don't forget to check out the free training video below as well. All right, friends, I hope this video was interesting to you. If it was and you'd like to see more content like this, then definitely consider subscribing because I do post a video like this every single week, doing my best to help primary care physicians maximize productivity and scale their income without overworking or burning out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and share this video with your colleagues. I'll see you next time.